This video is about how to optimize your CPU if it's always running at 100% while gaming. When your CPU usage is too high, your GPU doesn't get fully utilized, which causes low FPS and lag in games. By following the same tweaks I'm going to show you in this video, I literally doubled my FPS and made my game feel super smooth. So make sure to follow along, and all I ask in return is that you subscribe and drop a like on this video. One of the biggest reasons your CPU underperforms is because of power throttling, a hidden Windows feature that limits your CPU speed to save power. The problem is, it also causes massive FPS drops and stutters in games. Here's how to disable it. Press Windows plus R, type gpedit.msc and hit enter. In the group policy editor, go to computer configuration, administrative templates, system, power management, power throttling settings. Double click on turn off power throttling and set it to enabled. Click apply, then OK, and close the window. This will stop Windows from limiting your CPU performance, ensuring you get maximum power while gaming. Next up is a very common mistake a lot of people make. The system configuration, number of processors tweak. You've probably seen videos telling you to open MS config, go to the boot tab, open advanced options, and check number of processors. But here's the truth. This does absolutely nothing for performance. Windows already uses all your CPU cores automatically. This setting only exists for developers to limit cores for testing, not to unlock them. So don't waste your time with it. Instead, let's focus on something that actually helps. Open system configuration again, but this time go to the services tab. Check hide all Microsoft services. Then uncheck anything you don't need starting with Windows like Mozilla Maintenance Service or other background updaters. Next, move to the Startup tab, click Open Task Manager and disable all apps you don't want launching on Startup. This stops unnecessary programs from using your CPU right when you boot up, improving overall system responsiveness and in-game FPS. Now, let's remove a few background services that constantly eat CPU power. Go to your start menu, type services, and open it. Once it's open, look for these three. Windows Search. This one constantly indexes your files in the background. You'll still be able to use Search, but it won't waste CPU cycles 24-7. Right-click it, Properties, click, Stop, and set Startup Type to Disabled. Print Spooler. If you don't have a printer, you don't need this running. Stop and disable it the same way. Sysmain. Superfetch. This one pretends to optimize performance, but it actually just eats CPU power to preload apps you rarely use. Stop it and set it to disable too. These three alone can make your CPU run cooler and smoother in games. Now, for the most powerful step, manually tweaking all these settings can take hours and doing one thing wrong can cause issues. That's why I've created the ultimate CPU and GPU optimization pack, which includes all the safe and effective tweaks you need. You can download it from my website. Link is in the description. Once downloaded, open the pack and follow along. Inside, you'll find several folders like CPU priority, CPU optimizations, quick CPU, and GPU tweaks. Let's go through them one by one. Start by opening the CPU priority folder. If you have an Intel CPU, use the Intel reg file. If you have an AMD Ryzen CPU, use the AMD one. This tweak makes your system prioritize games and foreground tasks for smoother performance. Then, go into the CPU optimizations folder and apply these registry tweaks one by one on your system. First, we got Disable Game DVR and Game Bar, which record in the background, Turn Off Spectre and Meltdown Mitigations, obsolete CPU protections that slow you down. Disable network throttling and apply win 32 priority tweaks for better real-time responsiveness. Apply each of them one by one. Next, install quick CPU from the pack. Once installed, right-click it and select run as administrator. Choose the ultimate performance power plan, set all sliders to 100% and make sure you're using AC mode. Under Advanced CPU Settings, copy the recommended values or use the defaults if you imported my power plan. Click Apply, then OK. You can also monitor your CPU temperature here. 
make sure it doesn't go above 80 degrees Celsius. If it does, reapply thermal paste or improve your cooling. Next, open the GPU optimization folder in the pack. Run the clear.bat file as administrator. It deletes all temporary files and resets your shader cache for smoother performance. Then, depending on your system, apply the low to medium GPU optimization if you have a mid or budget GPU, or the high end optimization if you have a stronger setup. If you're unsure, just comment your specs and I'll tell you which one to use. Next, go into the GPU thread optimization folder. Select your GPU brand and apply the correct registry file. This improves how your GPU handles multi-threaded tasks, which helps with stutter and frame timing. Finally, open the MSI utility tool as administrator. Select your GPU, check MSI mode and set the priority to high. Click apply and close it. This ensures your GPU runs with the highest interrupt priority for smoother performance. Now let's clean up a few final window settings. Go to display settings, graphic settings. Turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. It offloads some rendering to the GPU and improves frame times. Next, under graphics performance preference, set your games to high performance. Click browse, go to your games.exe, for example, Fortnite or Battlefield, add it, and then choose high performance. This ensures your dedicated GPU is always used instead of the integrated one. Once you've done everything, restart your PC to apply all the changes. After that, you'll notice your CPU running cooler, your GPU finally hitting full usage, and your games running smoother than ever, with higher FPS and fewer stutters. If this guide helped you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment your FPS improvement down below. Also, check out my other videos for advanced windows and GPU optimizations to push your system even further. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.